All right, it's got to be part 10 and, and, and this port job only gets better. Let me show you. All right, so there it is. I've flipped the head over. And as you can see, there's lots of problems with this. Uh, first one I notice is you can see they've thinned the divider out towards the roof. Um, this really isn't good because we're meant to have less area on the roof. That's what helps the turn. We're meant to have more area over the short turn. So they've done the exact opposite to this. So this is only going to cost you energy. Uh, it's only going to create more port drag, more restriction in there. Um, and yeah, again, we've got ridges everywhere. So there's a, a ridge that goes along there. You can see that even with the camera. So again, they've gouged that out. So there's this massive pocket here and then the wall comes back in and then back out here. So we're going to have to go in, see that? We're going to have to go in and fix all that from basically there up. But yeah, uh, they've, yeah, I, um, anyway, we'll get in there and uh, try and fix this up. Yeah, wow. And you can see what they've done to this corner as well. Don't, don't do that to exhaust, guys. You, you never want a bigger radius in here. Um, this is the radius, or I should say a smaller radius, because what they've done is they've dug into the head there. Um, we don't want that. We want more volume in the lower half of the short side radius to help the turn. Uh, they've done everything opposite to that. All right, let's get set up. We'll get a smaller bit. We'll get in there and see if we can't fix it. All right, so this is the shape. It's a little exaggerated, obviously, but this is what we're trying to create over the, uh, basically the apex of the short turn. So we want more area across the floor than the roof because the roof velocity in comparison to the floor velocity has to be faster because it has to cover more area to keep up with the short turn, if that makes sense. If it doesn't, put it in the comments, I'll break it down even more. This is what we're trying to create. We're trying to pitch the air so the pressure wave is even as it goes out the exhaust port. So if we measure the distance from the apex of the short turn straight through the middle of it, so 45 through, halfway, the, the long side's obviously gonna be longer than the short side, meaning that the air has to accelerate faster on the long side compared to the short turn if you want the air to turn and keep the pressure balance of that port right. This is what keeps the drag coefficient to a minimal in both intake and exhaust pots but obviously we're going out not in uh, if if we don't and the velocity is a little quicker or even the same what will happen is this uh, air along the short term will get to the apex a lot faster than the air velocity on the roof which creates a low pressure above it so the air wants to fill that in and then creates separation off the short turn and then we get even more turbulence and even more drag in the port so now we're choking that port because we've reduced the cross-sectional area and created more port drag so it's not super complicated we're trying to pitch it over and in order to pitch it over we must have more csa along the floor than we do the roof and that's generally the shape we want to see um, even nasa's done some uh, studies on this this is why a mandrel bend isn't the optimal uh, shape for a 90 degree turn it's actually the wrong shape uh, what what we're, we're trying to create is basically that shape there so uh, a trapezoid but obviously with radiuses because corners don't flow that would be the optimal shape inside a or, or in a mandrel bend if you truly wanted it to flow the most amount of air, air. Uh, again as long as the area is the same just because we're changing the shape doesn't mean we're changing the area if this is a you know two inch mandrel bend and it has whatever two inches i think they're up around 2000 odd square millimeters as long as that's 2000 square millimeters it can go from round to that shape and the air velocity inside that will will pitch at the right rate 
This will reduce the drag coefficient of the bend and you make more and more horsepower. Again, um, that's what they've done wrong in this port. Anyway, we'll get back to it. So as you can see in that port, they've actually done it upside down because I drew it up the right way. I've got the head upside down as I'm showing you. So now we're going to widen the mouth across that short turn. All right, let's do it. All right, so I've gone in and tried to tidy that up. So I've fixed the divider now. Uh, it's almost parallel, as you can see. That's how bad it was. You look at that. That is shocking. Like it, it's an if you flip that shape upside down, it would actually be right. We always want more area up here than we do down here, right? Because we have to make the turn. Um, it's still got horrible ruts in this one. So I, I've fixed that divider. It's not too bad. It's as good as I can get. You can see these radiuses up in here. I've shrunken now and got that divider a lot better. Um, I've fixed the, the ridge that was in here and that wall. Uh, there's still a little mark down in there. I've also turned the divider to the window. They should sort of be heading at, at the one-third area on, on both. Um, some of them are parallel to the divider, which is totally wrong. So I've tidied that up, fixed that wall up. I've fixed this blend in here. Um, that's about as good as I'm going to get it. And as you can see, I've fixed that area across the short term so we've given it a, a more width to help that turn that's very very important if you want to reduce the drag coefficient of the port um, it is a turbulent environment but we want to keep the turbulence to a minimal and help the air turn together and the only way to do that is make sure we've got more volume across here than we do across there but anyway that's as good as it's uh that's as good as i can bring it back from the point it was Anyway, we'll get on to the rest of them. Well guys, that concludes our RB porting series. Hopefully you learned something. If not, put it in the comments. Say, so that was shit, Jake. I really wanted to learn how to port. I learned nothing. <laughs> Just joking. Um, again, if you've got questions or you're a little confused or you want me to expand on a topic, pop it in the questions and we'll see what we can do. Cheers, guys. Catch you on the next one.